Hello, I'm here, not live, outside Eglois St. Mark, St. Mark's Church here in Kaya Park, and I'm here today to find out about the food that we're kindly donated by this organisation every day throughout the summer holidays um, in order that the children that use our setting can have something to eat while they're there. So I'm going to head in, see who I can find, see if anybody wants to talk, and find out a little bit more about who they are and what it is they're doing to help the community. So let's go and have a look. <laughs> inside St. Mark's Church and it's a beautiful church uh, and I'm here with a member of the congregation and the church community and he's going to tell us a little bit more about what it is they do here. So I'll leave it to you to make your own introduction if you want to tell us who you are and what it is you've been doing here at St. Mark's. Sure, will do. Hello, uh, my name's Art. I'm a member of the congregation here as has been said and um, I, for my sins, uh, coordinate the um, Holiday Hunger Project that we operate out of the church here. Okay, so Holiday Hunger Project, I didn't know that was its, its name. So what is it that the Hunger Project does? Well, um, as you're probably aware, um, during term time, um, many children receive free school meals uh, when they're at school. And uh, that provision isn't there during the holidays. And um, some families just find the budget doesn't stretch as far as they'd like it to in the holidays. Uh, and feeding the children becomes an issue for them. Um, and so uh, local folk here identified that there is an issue um, of hunger uh, in some families during the school holidays. And as a response to that, uh, folk from the church and the local community have got together and put together what we call the Holiday Hunger Project. Uh, using volunteers, we create good, wholesome, healthy uh, rolls each day, bread rolls with fillings in, and um, we also supplement that with a supply of fruit. And um, this is distributed uh, here on Kyle Park, where the church is, to uh, the children through the local uh, Venture and Gwenbro Valley play schemes that uh, operate here. And uh, from all the feedback that we've had, it's a much appreciated um, uh, way of uh, contributing to the well-being of the children here. All right, it's, it's definitely the, the, a sort of cry goes out across the playground, cafe's open, <laughs> and they'll all come and grab their rolls and, and bits of fruit. So how is the money raised to fund this? Where do you get that money from? Um, well, uh, St Mark's happens to be an Anglican church, and um, we've had uh, uh, good support from our local diocese, which is well, the bishop's diocese. Um, but um, what has really pleased us is that since the project has been up and running, um, and has become better known. Uh, we've had grant support from our local community council here on Kyle Park, and um, uh, various churches around the town have uh, sent donations, uh, and uh, we've had donations from local businesses and uh, one of the local pubs. Uh, and so it's obviously ringing bells with people that there is an issue here. Uh, that this project is addressing and uh, uh, that along with the input of uh, volunteers in making uh, the rolls and um, preparing the food uh, means that you know, we, we are quite cost effective in the way we operate here. Okay, so you, I know you have the support of your local member of Westminster Parliament, Ian Lucas, is that yeah. right? 
um, but you also rely heavily on an army of volunteers. So who makes up your volunteers? Are they from a particular organisation? Well, uh, as you would imagine, uh, folk from uh, local churches are extremely supportive. And, uh, but uh, people of goodwill from the community, from uh, political parties, from uh, just members of organisations in the community, have got to know about the project. And uh, I'm the person who has to put the rotor of volunteers together. And I'm pleased to say it's not an onerous task in that... Um, uh, volunteers uh, have been very willing to contribute and sometimes are quite disappointed if I can't fit them in uh, as often as they'd like to but um, that's good you know that's uh, uh, showing the community is alive and well and um, it has a heart for uh, situations where there's a, a real need. Well, that's very good going I know a few rotors where people are getting paid uh, to turn up, they're not always easy to organise. So if yeah. people are volunteering and you know you're getting them to sort of be banging on your door to turn up, that's 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 good yeah. going. Yeah. So how do you make the decision about what it is that you provide food-wise? Is there anybody that advises you? Or? Yeah, well, we have a project group. Um, we we do this during the main school holidays, at so Christmas, Easter, and uh, the summer holiday, and uh, during the term between the the holidays we'll have a project meeting and um, we'll have representatives there from the health services those who are working in the community from the health services here on Kyle Park and they'll advise us and they'd say well it'd be a good idea if the children were introduced for instance to brown bread or uh, can you from the money you have provide more fruit um, and these are educative but also good nutritious ways of um, introducing children who today perhaps eat too many sweet and sticky things and salty savory snacks uh, to good food and um, so that's a, a very useful byproduct i think uh, of the project brilliant well i can say for sure on behalf of the venture and our local community uh, it's become such an asset for us uh, to know that that is available and it is very much appreciated. So, Diolch thank you very much. Well, thank you for coming in today. Thank you.